the next topic is what are the prerequisites to learn java 9 modularity in order to go with the modularity programming we need to learn set of keywords usage and commands to execute them as we discussed earlier i will refresh module declarations module must provide a module descriptor metadata that specifies the modules dependencies package module makes available to other modules and more a module descriptor is the compiled version of a module declaration that define a file named module-info.java each module declaration begins with the keyword module next we will go with some keywords we have too many keywords we have discussed a couple of keywords earlier but still we'll discuss again what do you mean by request keyword a request module directive specify that this module depends on another module this relationship is called as module dependency each module must explicitly state its dependencies when module a requires module b then module b should be available for module a to specify a dependency on another module use requires like requires module name the next keyword is requires transitive to specify a dependency on another module and to ensure that other module regarding requires transitive to specify a dependency on another module and to ensure that other modules reading your module also known as implied readability module a can read module b and module b can read module a at this time we have to use requires transitive like requires transitive and module a the next keyword is exports and exports to and exports module directive specifies one of the modules packages whose public types includes the nested public and protected types should be accessible to all other modules in the application the next one is exports to the directive enables you to specify in a comma separated list specifically which module or modules code can access the exported package this is known as qualified exports next keyword is uses uses module directive specifies a service used by this module next one is open open package indicates that a specific packages public types including their nested public and protected types are accessible to code in other modules at runtime only next one is allowing runtime only access to package and opens module directive of the form open space package that indicates that a specific packages public types are accessible to code in other modules at runtime only also all the types in the specified package are accessible by a reflection the next keyword is allowing runtime only access to a package by specific module and opens to module directive of the form opens package to comma separated list of modules which indicates that a specific packages public types are accessible to code in the listed modules at runtime only all the types in the specified package are accessible via reflection here as well the next one is allowing runtime only access to all packages in a module if all the packages in a given module should be accessible at runtime you may open the entire module and there are many new commands provided with java 9 for efficient use of modularization and we will discuss when we come across new keywords in further videos